Well, thank you for continuing to watch this episode of Answering the Call. We're hoping by now you've got a hunch by the Holy Spirit to try to get involved. Ron Brummett, the President and CEO here at the Miami Rescue Mission, the caring place, Broward Outreach Centers. You need some people to do the work in ministry. So if somebody wanted to get involved, how would they do that? Well, you know, a lot of churches that come alongside of us, it's called our faith partners. That's one of the easiest way to get involved. We have different ministries where you can come in in the afternoon and actually minister to people one-on-one. -on -one. We have a, a meal ministry. We have a outreach ministry where we go out into the highways and byways with uh, people from various churches and they'll go out and they'll actually minister to the homeless and the needy. Yeah. You know, we're serving so many people and I am grateful. I've been here a long time yeah. and I get a chance to see so many of our volunteers. In fact, I just met one today before we started taping wow. and uh, she's from Chicago, she's here for the summer, but she wants to give back for the summer. I say, wow, wow. Yeah. of all the things you could have done with your summer, what an honor for you to come and be a part of our volunteer. Yeah, so good. we always need volunteers of yeah. all different types. Yeah. You know, most people, Chuck, they want to do a uh, feed the meal. Yeah. Well, we need people to prepare the meal. Yeah. We need people to serve the meal. Yeah. We need people to clean up after the meal. Right. We need people to go out and purchase the meal yeah. and bring it in. Maybe prepare a meal yeah. for two or 300 yeah. people, your church, your organization, your yeah. business, come yeah. in, yeah. Uh, uh, partner with one of the big companies, you know, uh, yeah. I'm not gonna mention any of the fast food companies, but some of the restaurants, right. and, and that happens, and bring in a whole meal for people. That's yeah. one way to get involved. That's and cool. everything to, that we need people, just simply go to our, our website, caringplace.org. Yeah. On that site, you can learn how to volunteer, you can how to be part of our faith groups, you can right. how, to, how to donate financially, you can mm -hmm. be one of our prayer partners, yeah. and it's really the simplest way to get involved is yeah. go to caringplace.org. We're on social media, you can go to Facebook at Miami Rescue Mission, mm -hmm. and, and also Twitter is No One Is Homeless, and yeah. that's a good way that we connect, especially with yeah. the younger people. Oh, yeah. You know, we that's love right. our younger people that are coming out. Yeah. They are really on fire to, to for causes and to change the world and to change yeah. our community. That's awesome. Yeah. And and really we are we get funding from all different sources. So yeah. we don't have our funding in one basket. Right. But the majority of our funding for all the years that I've been here and before has been through individuals. Yeah. And th those are moms and dads and individuals and businesses that have come alongside of us mm -hmm. and decided, you know, we're going to do something for you. We're going to become part of the Meals a Month program right. uh, where you can actually give $10, $20 a month and right. provide, you know, for $2.10. Yeah. Now, where are you going to get this deal? Yeah. You can give a full meal. Yeah. I, I'm not talking uh, just some crust of bread and some soup. Yeah. We're talking yeah. a good delicious meal and as I said earlier, we have said for years and decades and I'm, I am sold on this, often uh, hope begins with a meal. Yeah. People come to us not because they want great change in their life, they come because their they're bellies hungry. are empty, right. they're tired, they're dirty, they're yeah. stinky, they, yeah. and they're wearing the same clothes. Yeah, so, And it leads to the fact that you need change of clothes, you need in-kind donations. So what are some of the things that you guys yeah. people so, can donate? So again, uh, we have hygiene drives in, yeah. in the beginning of the year where we need toothbrush and toothpaste and cloths and pampers and all sorts of things that you do with yeah. all, toiletries. Everything toiletries that you, need, and you yeah. need. Can you imagine you're out in the street and you haven't brushed your teeth for four or five days? You yeah. haven't been able to wash your hair yeah. or, or any of that. Just It adds to the degradation. It yeah. adds to right. the so, uh, low self-esteem saying I'm nothing I cannot be anything because look at me look how look how horrible i am and then we have toy drives for christmas we have food right. drives all during the year it's called pack the pantry yeah. uh right now we've had our um our summer s spring cleaning with a purpose we also have a thrift store that is a training center for our men and women going through our programs mm -hmm. to learn soft skills of employment be on time complete your task you know maybe some of them will be truck drivers some will be cashiers and so on but it's basically to teach them soft skills but in that in that store we're yeah. also selling the items right. we're raising money for our programs right. uh, but that we're always looking for furniture for bedding yeah. for and, and when our graduates leave we want to be able to give them furniture for their their apartments or their homes so that's mm -hmm. another way you can get involved yeah, uh, if that's you're, how we reconnected yeah, you know, yes, I had a friend who got rid of some stuff I said let me text Ron and next thing you know we're talking and well, yeah, yeah if you're changing up your yeah. bedroom and you, we don't want dog eat stuff and flea right. infested thing that's not right. going to help us we got to right, throw right. that away but Right. stuff that you're okay with you know right. it can have yeah. some wear and tear on yeah. it what would you give jesus so if it's yeah. good enough for yeah, jesus yeah, yeah, it's yeah, good yeah, enough yeah, yeah. uh 
yeah. for, for so the, the again, yeah. and, and again, we had last year over nine thousand volunteers. Wow. I don't know how many thousands gave uh, gift and kind items like yeah. the food items and so right. on. Right. Uh, right. Businesses get together, condominiums help us out, right. and again, for people, I really want people to get involved. Yeah. I want you to say, you know, something. This place sounds like a really good place. It's a solid place. I want to get involved. Go to caringplace.org. Uh, you can look at the volunteer opportunities, uh, how to donate to our thrift stores, how to make a difference in our food drives, and our hygiene drives, and our toy drives, and our school supply drives. And it's very simple. We'll get back to you. We love all of our volunteers. We love all of our donors. Uh, and I would just encourage people to do that. That's awesome. Well, again, I want to thank our viewers one last time for watching this episode of Answering the Call. Ron, thank you so much for hey. letting us come by and it's tell your great. story. It's been great. It's You've got an amazing great. team. Your wife and your team is just amazing. So teamwork makes a dream work, right? That's right. That's what I always say. Well, I love an opportunity with our viewers to pray and ask God to bless the ministry and establish some partnerships. Father God, Lord Jesus, you are awesome. I thank you for the Miami Rescue Mission and the Broward Outreach Centers and the Caring Place in, in general, the, the board, the, the many staff and volunteers, the donors. Pray you continue to bless them and give them wisdom. And if anyone watching feels a nudge from your Holy Spirit to get involved, that they would reach out and be a part of what you're doing here. So we thank you, Lord, for uh, adopting us into this big family of God and uh, on this search and rescue mission here in Miami. And may their uh, witness just spread far and wide, be a good example to the body of Christ and how to love people into the kingdom. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Well, until our next episode of Answering the Call, may you and your families be blessed.